Hey guys, it's Donnie. Um, I'm here with my beautiful friend Whitney and we decided that we were going to make a YouTube video about all that's happened over the past few months. As you, I'm sure you've all heard the story and stuff, a lot's been going on. And we just wanted to talk about how it's affected our lives since then and, and how we've changed our stance on bullying a lot since it happened. And Whitney, how, like, how do you feel after all of what happened? Like, what is your opinion of everything right now? As of what happened at homecoming, I see more of an opportunity to help children, even adults, go through bullying situations and everything. Right. <laughs> and, like, I really think that we've changed our, like, like I said earlier, we've changed our stance on bullying a lot. Like, I know, at least, I used to be very focused on, you know, defending myself against the bully and attacking them and, you know, I guess being harsh back, but amidst all that happened, I really feel that and we should focus more on the bullying victim as opposed to um, punishing the bully, because really punishing the bully doesn't do any good. Um, punishing the bullying, in my, fam in my eyes, is that, you know, you can attack this child, but, you know, it's not going to change. Normally getting focused on to the victim itself, will get them more strong notice and everything and go and see this person and like they truly care that there is someone for them. Right. Exactly. I agree. You always agree. I, I know. <laughs> um, if, any, if you guys have noticed, there is no longer a Support Whitney Craft page. And it was removed because it served its purpose. And, um, but, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to continue we are going to give out more support through many things, like pages that are brought up, videos will be made, and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and also, like recently, um, your story actually just aired in Japan, too. And bullying is also a significant issue over there, like it is in many other places in the world. And we're very honored that we could that you could make a difference in another country. Um, how do you feel about all that? Um, my opinion about the whole uh, airing on Japan, you know, Japan is a worse bullying case in Japan more than it is here in America. Like, it, like it's bad here, but it's worse there. The, to get the opportunity to um, air it there has a big impact on me because it shows, you know, now I can help people outside of the United States and help kids, adults, or basically anybody in the whole world itself. Mm -hmm. um, in the future, if you would like to follow Whitney, she's actually going to have a YouTube and we are going to post a link to it down below and I'm sure we'll be doing videos together too, so you're more than welcome to um, uh, follow my YouTube if you would like also. Um, and also, the cherry on top of the ice cream sundae. Mm, cherry. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, hungry. We are actually doing a lot to appeal to bullying victims through pages that we've created on Facebook. Um, my friend Cindy and I have created a group called Affirmations for Bullying Victims, which basically is a list of different affirmations suited to help the bullying victim feel more healed and more wholesome that way the injury they experience from being bullied does not push them to a detrimental extent. And also, Whitney has created a page too, would you like to talk about that? I would. I made a page not that long ago called Voices of the Unheard, which is based off a poem I wrote back during homecoming, which I put on that third way. Voices of the Unheard is a page where bullying um, victims and even people from the past would like to help others to get them healed and not go into a Deathifying experience or anything about, among that, and also both of our pages. I don't think really have that much like. Please like them. We would have links down below for you to like them and follow. You know his YouTube page as well on Facebook, and there will be a page up for mine as well. And the thing is, though, like, I think what we're trying to get at is instead of attacking bullies, we can make so much of a difference against bullying through appealing to the person that's being bullied. And we would really appreciate um, if you would follow our pages and stuff because we all can make a difference.
Well, at least everyone can. It's not like, you know, you have to, like, even if, like, think, like complimenting that person who is bullied or standing up for that bully or person, sorry, can make that person feel a lot better than what they basically had been feeling before. Right. Or even just listening to them, that makes a difference, too. Um, but yes, we will have all of the links listed below um, in the comment section of this video. And thank you guys for listening. You have a good night.